Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, hey, hey. let's Ooh. go, man. Hey, baby, you know what it is today, right? What's Does that? everybody know what it is today? It's TNC's oh. anniversary, baby. <laughs> you know what it is. We here, it's your boy Switch. I'm here with your boy Jay. I'm here with your boy Jimmy, and I'm here with your boy Ant. And what's going on, fellas? So, with that being said, what do you guys feel about the Brianna Taylor situation? Um, there's a lot of information out there, man. There's like, so yeah. much information, and there's a lot of false information, too. And there's a lot of... Uh, well, now they just released the article, was it today or yesterday, that the ballistics report that they reanalyzed that the, uh, the boyfriend didn't shoot? Well, they said they said they said they they said they said they couldn't confirm or eliminate it, right? So either like basically they can't say that it was his pistol, and they can't say that it wasn't his pistol. You know, because they did because they did say because they tried to say that the cops or the whatever only carrying forty cal, which uh, was a lie, whatever, but which is a lie because one of them had also a registered nine millimeter. Right. Oh, well, well, let, let me back. Let me let me let me take right. Let me, right. Let me, walk, let me walk that back. Let me walk that back. It's not a lie, um, because I don't know that he was carrying a nine millimeter, but he True. was issued. But he was issued yeah. a nine millimeter. The same dude that got fired, um, he had a nine millimeter issued to him, um, mm-hmm. and he was fired because he was shooting through the window and through the walls, and it ended up going in one of the neighbors' houses. So he he was yeah. kind of like a threat to everybody, you know. Mm-hmm. So they ha- they haven't um they haven't confirmed that. I would like to see the ballistics for his pistol for his nine nine millimeter that was issued. That would, that, that would be nice. Yeah, and and why no body cam footage? <laughs> Man, I'm see, like and, and this is where this is where the cops mess up. Like all of the good graces that they could possibly get from people that would give them the benefit of the doubt. You have no body cam going in for this warrant. Why? Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. like. I don't know what happened. And I agree. Like there's so much information out there. It's kind of hard. Like you would have to read for probably a full day to get a full picture of everything that happened. Yeah. So I'm not going to say that, that the cops were right. I'm not going to say that the boyfriend was right. I don't know. I don't know what happened because there's too many conflicting stories. Mm-hmm. Man, it sounds like Alonzo from training day that Jay said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me, man. Well, well, they did drop the charges against the boyfriend, right? The charges. Well, they 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 didn't have anything on them. Like they did this. They did this. this, They 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 got a warrant for a no knock, and then they supposedly knocked. Which that's suspect. Which he said (laughs) he didn't. Yeah, because he said I ain't hear no one. Well, well, the, not, dude, hold the on. dude up there, he changed his testimony. Yeah, well, I, 12, 12 witnesses said that they didn't hear it. They were interviewed three times, and then one of them changed his story after the third time he was interviewed. He's was like, like, oh, no, I heard a knock. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, okay. if, we had, no if we had body cam footage, we could eliminate the doubt, but we don't have that. I saw, I saw an interesting video where the, the Hodge twins brought up something that is actually a good point. They said the boyfriend only fired once. Right. Which would make sense if you didn't know who it was and then you realized it was cops. Right. Mm. And then you get 36 chambers, 36 <laughs> rounds right. right back at you. Yo, and that's why that's wild that in the in, in in the story that I read, they said the first cop that walked in said he saw uh the boyfriend with his hands raised, right, pointing the pistol. But dude didn't get shot at all. Like, why would you shoot the girlfriend who isn't armed and you wouldn't shoot the armed person? I would shoot the person with the gun first. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like how many officers were there? Three? Three, I think. Or four? Three or four. Three, Three. or four officers. And yeah, and they hit her instead of him. Yeah, he didn't get hit at all. Well, she got hit. She got hit six times. Five of them were would have been considered bodily injury type shots, right. I think it's in the report. And one of them was like a definitely kill shot, like they hit if like a, those, aortic artery or something like that. Yeah, like if none of those other five hit her, but that one still did, like she would have still been done in like 
like less than a minute. They're saying. Mm. Now were the lights off? Like, cause they were in bed, right? Was it something like they was they was they was in their bed when uh, Brianna and her boyfriend were in the bed, and then this yeah, it was late, right? They slammed the door, right? They slammed the door open. A shot shots let off. One shot let off, and then they let off back. So maybe that could be it. Like, there's no. There's no view in that in that in that kind of sense. I don't that's know. Possible, yeah. No, that's that's definitely possible. That it that is possible. Um, also, the dude, was, you know, the other cop was shooting from outside. He was shooting through through a closed window, shooting through the walls. He was just shooting at anything in the house. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's, that's a that's a lights on or off. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's a possibility too. And that's illegal, right? I think that was something that they was a no no. I mean, that's part of that wanton thing. Like, you just can't recklessly just right, bust off your gun right. as a police officer. You got to account for every round. So, like, it wouldn't make sense to just be busting off with your gun through windows and doors and stuff like that and not accounting for where you know it's really going. So, all right, you sound like a drive by. <laughs> right. Why are you outside shooting? So, I mean, they had, they had, they, he wasn't charged with anything because they, they didn't, they didn't have anything to charge him with. You know, he mm-hmm. wasn't the he wasn't the boyfriend that they were looking for, um, because she had already broken up with the drug dealer boyfriend. They didn't find any drugs in the house. What were they gonna charge him with? Mm-hmm. They couldn't charge exactly. him with anything. You know, nothing. What was that? What I think there's a video, uh, maybe like two years ago. I feel like you might have shared it, Jimmy, where there's like another kind of a no knock, or maybe they knocked. There's actual video footage of them coming in, and the dude had his gun, and he busted back and actually hit one of the cops, and then. I think he got released. Like he didn't eventually get charged because it was ruled self-defense because mm. they didn't, they didn't announce themselves, you know, coming in. And so he thought right. it was a, like a home invasion. He, right. he, he busted back real quick and he got one of the, you know, them coming in, but eventually got ruled as like self-defense because nothing was announced. Right. He didn't know I, 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 have to, I have to find it, but there was like video footage of that, like a couple of years ago. Mm. So they turned their cam on. Interesting, right? Right. Yeah, they definitely got to do something about 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 um, some body kind of cams? police reform. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, body cams, and and I think there was a bill. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was a bill where, like, if you weren't recording, um, I'm not sure if it passed yet. I got to look it up. But there's a bill where, like, if you, if cops aren't recording, it's considered tampering with evidence, and they could be charged mm. with that. Um, which I thought was 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 dope because um, you know it makes people accountable. You know what I'm saying? It's it's for the safety of the cops and and for you know mm-hmm. the possible suspect. You know um, mm-hmm. because it, it's documented and you have something to back up your story. You know versus like this this unknown of you know oh we didn't have our cameras on so we just got to take the cop story. You know and then you got dudes like you know Alonzo from Training Day. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like making up stuff after the fact. You know. See, that's why I think accountability is actually one of the biggest issues with cops because yeah. they know they can get away with stuff and it, it shouldn't be that way. You mm-hmm. know, in my opinion, cops should be held to an even higher standard as far as keeping I the agree. law. Like if you violate the law, we come in at you with the full force of everything. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. That's true. I be want to say that when they run a red light, like, yo. When they drive by you, when they're yeah. on the they're talking on the phone like and on the laptop, man, yeah. casual conversations on the phone, yeah. driving up, flying you know. down the street, like oh, driving what they need. Yeah, Come when on. they put their lights on just to go to McDonald's up the block. Right. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Dang. Get out of my way! I gotta go to McDonald's all the time, man. <laughs> all the time. Oh, but um, I, I think I would like to see a plan from 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 both Biden and, and, and Trump holding cops more accountable, not just like giving them money, you know, what I mean, and, and buying them more, giving them more equipment. Because there's a what is it, the 1031 program, which already gives them um, military surplus. So like all the stuff that you see, you know, in Iraq and stuff like that, MRAPs and all that, like the cops get it. They get that same you know what I mean? That that same armory, you know what I mean? Those same weapons. Um yeah, they get desks and pens and pencils and stuff like that. It's just not weapons through that ten thirty one um program. But um mm. I would like to see more accountability than just money thrown at them, you know? Mm. Now, 
Obama was the one who passed the body cams. It was under his administration. Was it? Mm. I don't speak at once. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, man. You you putting us on? I thought no. You... I'm asking y'all. I'm asking. I'm sorry. It's, it's... Are you just randomly ask us, yo? Right. <laughs> like, yeah, no, because you know some people don't give Obama. You know what I'm saying? They're like, Ready? oh, Obama didn't hold police accountable and this, this, and that. And uh, I mean, that's okay. that's that. You know what I mean? That body cam is. But did he that's though? Because a, a lot of a lot of places don't a lot of places don't have body yeah. cams. I mean, that's still like a budget thing for a lot of places. I mean, you could say, you know, we go, this is what it should be, but I mean, the reality is, uh, you know, if their budget I, doesn't afford it, we, we gonna do. Project. Yeah, I always, I, I always thought the body cam thing was at a local level, not not yeah. federal. Type Bro, of these dudes, thing. these dudes got chargers. Like, what you mean they can't afford body cams? I'm right. Uh, you gotta pay for the car before you pay for the body cam. You know, you gonna pedal to the next car, <laughs> bro. <laughs> they got bikes. You better get on your bike. <laughs> you need that uh, body yeah. cam, man. Get it. <laughs> you, you might as well. Yo, what you need a charger yourself. for, man? For somebody selling a nickel dime down the street? Come on, man. Like, what did now, you guys? We'll send the guy with the bike. To yeah, the... send him. Send him. Yeah, yeah. How you guys feel about body cam? How did you guys feel about that verdict? What verdict? The brand? Are you mean for the dude? Yeah. Uh, I, you know what? I, I haven't spoken on this subject, and I probably won't, because I feel like I'm like Brooklyn. Uh -oh. There's too many pieces to it, like I, where I don't know what's going on. Like you, man, it's so All right. much. All right, wait, were you surprised? Were you, su were you surprised at the? No, verdict? I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I, nah, neither nah. was I. Nah, I mean I didn't. Are we, are we really expecting cops to be charged with something? It's no. it's hard it's hard we when we talked about it on the podcast too it's hard to convict a cop because um because of the law right because they they all they have to prove is that they were scared for their life and if Brianna Taylor's boyfriend shot at them they can prove that they were Justified. scared for their life right. you know what I'm saying so that's see it. I I think the problem is sometimes the charges people want oh yeah that's like too. you like you reach him yeah. right like yeah, yeah, you yeah. you could say that they shouldn't have done this, right? And, and you could probably charge them with something else, but like to try to go for first degree murder, like bro, right. yeah, you're reaching too that. far. Yeah, I yeah. think yeah. we just spoke about that not too yeah. long ago, Josh. I think you probably seen it too in the in the chat when we were talking about overcharging. Yeah, yeah you got smart. You can't go for something like if you go if you ask him for that, then you basically saying that, that cop woke up that morning saying, "Yep, I'm yeah. gonna kill somebody," and then right. yeah, how oh, do you that's prove that? Specific person. That. And that's how do you prove that? that? Right, you know. But it's like there's so many it's cases out there. There's a video. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, I know uh, Jimmy and I talked about it before where it was um, this white guy and black black woman coming out of a hotel room. And they had like a SWAT team and the camera was on it. And then it was basically playing Simon Says. And the one woman got past where she needed to be. And the dude was scared for his life. Yeah, he was drunk. And, and, dude, and he was yeah, like yeah. playing he Simon Says. Like, do this, do that. He's crying. He's like emotionally distressed because he's got a AR-15 with some five, five, six rounds ready to go in on him real quick. And the dude even said, like, if you flinch wrong, I'm going to shoot you. Like, he was wow. – so this dude already scared to death, and he's doing everything right. he could. And then he had a moment where he fell. And when he fell, the dude aired out, like, five, six rounds ready to his chest and killed him. Well, the, there's wow. an article that came out. Just, he just got – um he didn't get convicted. That's nuts. The, the because he had, to, he had to go through that whole process and basically, like, no charges. That's yeah, nuts. See, that's crazy. Even with yeah. video. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You're playing Simon says the dude clearly had nothing on him. Like all you had to do was like tell him put his hands over his head and like lay down and put his hands out in front of him and then have it pointed at him and send a man over there to just to, to cuff him. I mean, like, I don't know why you had to make this man do so many different moves to get over further up the hallway. But, That's nuts. Wow. See? That's an abuse of power. And that, that, you guys made a good point about about wanting more than than what is expected. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the same thing like driving, right? Let's say you're driving and God forbid you you run over someone or you, you know what I'm saying you you kill someone. Like it, it's a difference between your intentions and then what actually happened. You know, an accident. You know what I'm saying? And I think um, I think sometimes the media like it just really fuels. Mm. That oh you know we need and it's like come on y'all reaching now you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like let's let's state the facts and let's let's judge you know fairly at least you know what I'm saying for both parties 
So mm-hmm. that's right. interesting stuff, man. Right. That's- no, you're you're right, man. I I think that that a lot of times when these stories come out, we have to kind of have to wait and hear like the whole story, right? Because you, you it's always like a knee jerk reaction at first, and then we find out more information about the story, you know. Um, but like with this Brianna Taylor thing, man, like I feel like I feel like the cops were wrong, like or the system was wrong. Number one, like for doing a no not. Even before that, man, like really, like we we doing all this, you know, because mind of the you, drug, because of the drug war. Like this is because of the drug war. Like how many people have died because of the drug war? You know what I'm saying? Like, and they only went there because they said that they received packages. They know that there was packages that were sent there before, right? right. So that's the only reason they went there. So it was like y'all really reaching, like y'all going over there because y'all heard about packages that are being sent there. It was, it was, well, they they uh, apparently like they had her on surveillance or something like that, and so they mm-hmm. had seen her dropping off packages and whatnot. But she hadn't been with that dude for a minute, so obviously they broke surveillance, right? And they didn't right. they they didn't know that she wasn't with him anymore. You whatever. see all these stories though; they sound like the wire. <laughs> oh, the, the the dead body and her rental. See? They're trying to they're yeah, trying to bring yeah. up that. They're trying to use that to justify this yeah. this this murder, you know what I'm saying? But she wasn't charged with anything. And they're trying to say she wasn't an EMT. Like they they really. <laughs> well, yeah. she wasn't. She when she died, she wasn't an EMT anymore. She hadn't been an EMT for like two years. No, she wasn't. But she was she was uh, working in the medical field. So, but they were just they were just trying to say like, oh, she wasn't even a real EMT. And, right. uh, well, that, well, that's because the media was running with it. Like, oh my God, cops are killing EMTs. You know what I'm saying? And, <laughs> yeah. So that yeah, yeah, and that that's a whole nother problem when. <laughs> situations like this happen and people try to slander either the person who was murdered or the yeah. cop it's like let's just stick with the facts stay away right. from all this other stuff because mm-hmm. you could do ping pong all day like these two are doing and i still don't know what happened 